Hello everybody and welcome to a new modern video. Uh, we just played with Living End and now I want to play with Crashing Footfalls. The Living End version had Bloodbraid Marauder, whereas the Rhinos version has Hardened Plea. So here, very regular deck, similarly to what it was before, Ban of Violent Outburst. Uh, the list that I've played with a couple of weeks ago on my stream had Leyline of the Guild Pack plus Sign of Draco. Although that did not prove to be successful in the strategy, whereas this list that I'm in front of me came second in one of the modern challenges. Leyland plus Cyan, I don't want to say it's a trap, because I think it still works well in um, Zoo. Uh, Zoo keeps on doing well uh, with deck cards, but otherwise I'm not a, I'm not a fan, I'm kind of off of it. I feel like it's, uh, it's very cool to uh, get some, to farm some Twitter likes. Uh, but um, I want to try this version, uh, which is, uh, again, very similar to what it was before. You even have Flame of Honor plus Tishana Stidebinder. You don't have Mutavolt, because we're playing uh, basically four color. I haven't seen Flame of Honor in a while. This card definitely lost a lot of playability without uh, Violent Outburst just being like full teamer. But it's still a good card, I'm assuming. Cyborg, very clean. 44421. Uh, Radiant Flames over Brother Zudend, I guess, not too many red sources in this deck. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be this list. Let's go. Four Borrower, right? That's a lot. That's that's very many four Borrowers. I guess you wanna bounce the of the guild. Let's go on the play with a Wallander, which is a Mulligan. Why not as we play your 21 or 22? 20! Oh no, that's so little. Hmm. Alright, keep, but I don't like 20. If I noticed that before, I would have cut the land. Um, I can go Temple Garden Steam Vents here. Yeah, it's bottom and it's a little, a little binding. Why weren't Radiant Flames of a Brothers? You would. I'm gonna say because of double, double red is hard to make. Let's go, booted foothills, pass, again, temple garden, steam vents, that's my sequence here. Okay, opponent to kick things off with a shadowy backstreet binning the Cabal Coffers. This may be the black white uh, pox deck that I streamed uh, yesterday. Let's go. I think I may just want to guarantee having. Three mana for next turn and then go, uh, go for Lure and Reveal, get Xander Lounge, play it, pass. There's definitely a million top lands now in this deck. Lugstone, okay. Alright, this is been Profane Tutor. Uh huh. Well, let's just go Shardless here, shall we? Let's go shardless. Just think I'm fine. What the one ring? I know they don't play sweepers. This is magical line. We're playing the modern format. Hello, Mick. How's it going? Okay, turn three on the play. We got ten power. Let's see what they do about it. 
They can play as more po oh they play Thoughtseize. They can play Thoughtseize more Pox. Not bad. They kill a 2-2, two -two, they take 8, but then they play Ring next turn if they take my binding. It's not it's not bad. They're not in that bad of a shape. I don't know. If they go small pox at least. But maybe the fact that they don't have any sweeper. Yeah. What do you discard binding? Okay, push. Give another push. Alright, I'm attacking. Then I'll play Arden Plea. Like the Rhino tokens? Yeah. First you want to Cascade and then you want to play Portico. And again, I don't think my opponent has uh, Domination in their deck. If I didn't see, you know, this version, then maybe I would have um, play around it, but I don't think I should play around it. I'll play around Domination. Leaving Gand went well, I think. I think it was a good deck. We we went thirty two, which isn't amazing, but I I felt I felt the power of the deck. Learning a new pioneer deck. What 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 what, what deck it is, is it? Is it Phoenix? Hey, let's see what they find. Fane, Tutor. Blue white. I dislike blue white. I definitely suggest to not play blue white in Pioneer. He was, I don't know, to me it was never good. And it did very poorly at the PT. It's just, you know, not great. Okay, so this is probably the ring. All right, this is a very good draw. That's binding the ring. Hey, I think I'll go top lane. Go. I don't even want to play fire ice. Just so that I'm lethal if they kill a rhino token. Okay, another one. And another one. If other if other people win with blue white, I don't think it should uh, it should touch you though. <laughs> other people win with anything. There's always gonna be somebody that wins with something. Salseo, buenos dia. Playing uh, Rhinos, no Leland of the Guild Pack today. We played Living End earlier, so we are in a Cascade day. And draws a lot of cards. Joel Adrian, how's it going? Ready to play some Cockatrice later? The forbidden client, the client that what he doesn't want you to play. Your new passion, yeah. Remember, as a child, I was playing Magic Workstation, which was into Magic League, and what's he like, like banned all the tournaments that were going on at some point. Alright, they're they're doing it. So we're in. Uh yeah, minus. 
You enjoyed the Amalia vs. Merktide video? Thank you, Arshan. Yeah, it was uh, fun to record. Very difficult game. I think uh, it was a nice showcase of that, of that deck. Then you play a very little smallpox. I would dare to say this was an interesting sequencing. Pippinsai. Let's think. Let's think. Okay, Castaway Pippinsai resolves. What do I think? Do I want to draw with this in response? I guess. A drawing response. Castle open side. Uh, okay. This card. Sacrifice. My opponent made a play, a, a play of Magic the Gathering. She's probably... Oh wait, I remember a similar sequencing in which somebody went creature into Wrath of God. I think it was in Cube. I think it was on stream, similar to what just happened to. Vabine, what can they do? What can they do? I mean, the Magic only League, you, you accept it. Where You accept it. Anything that happens to you, you accept it. Okay, so Commandeer is for the card The One Ring. Although my opponent pressures my hand so much, I doubt I'll have a... She definitely will play more lands. 20 lands. Why did you play 20 lands? Player who came second in the challenge with this deck. And why did I not see that it had 20 lands? One of the worst small pox I've ever seen. Yeah, I mean... Usually when a play is followed by concession, it's not a good play. I would say. Like, you make a play, and while you're resolving your play, you concede. It's, you know, things... Let's just say that things could have been better. Oh, how do we sequence? Um... Nah, doesn't really matter. We have Urborg, so I don't need to get the Grixis Lounge. The blue red uh, survey land. Oh, it doesn't. It's only two land. Yeah, that's the 21st land. The blue red survey land. Just cut one of the borrowers. When it suspends the tutor, I will fetch a green white. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. I won't fetch the green white. What if I fetch the Mishivalus Archive? And then I go Steam Vent, so I have double blue. Yeah, I like that better. Subtlety, get out. And tap and draw. I wanna go tap your land. Yeah. I don't have much else to do. New Mazawa's Jit has been spoilered? What do you mean, Yumazawa's Jit? Let's check. Do you have a link? Oh, Lost Jit. Let's see. Whenever I keep one, it costs one. Whenever I keep creature discomfort damage, put a one, oh, put one charge counter on top of your land. That's okay, it's not that bad. Man, all of these cards are mythic rare. It's crazy. They made so many mythic rares. Tio Caro. Amazing. They always managed to like up of one the <laughs> the amount of money you have to pay to play this game. It's fake rarity though. Yeah, but like I believe if you play arena you have to craft them as mythic, right? Oh look, I'm opponent plays small pox. I'm just gonna counter it. What do I pitch? Flame? I'll pitch flame. Yeah. It doesn't mean fake rarity. I believe it means exactly that uh, you don't open in the boosters, but if you... 
If you want to craft them, you have to pay for a mythic rare. Not that I ever want to open Magic Arena, but, you know, some people do. Is that most people do? Infinite more people do than on Magic Online. Oh, by the way, Rhino's uh, got a new hoser. I don't know if you've seen it yesterday, but it's a very big deal. A blue... Black, white... Black, white... Pest control. Destroy not a permanent one value, one or less. Cycling. Right, so my opponent played the ring. Similarly to what happened in the previous game. Okay, I gotta get a... Uh, do I have to double fetch here? I think so, I think I have to double fetch. It's fine, it's not a problem. Magic. Magical line. Hello. Hmm. Okay. So I have to get steam vents. Then I have to get planes. Then I go one mana binding because of Urborg. I have I have domain. And then I go ardently. And then I pass. New GT standard legal. Yeah, the set with the little ball mythic rare, it's standard legal. It's the aftermath of the set. Oh, Garrett's verdict. Yeah, that's that's a card. Okay, my opponent made a play. It's Liliana Sacrifice. Do you draft? Yeah, I practice for the Pro Tour. The format is uh, always draft. Yeah. Okay, I'll attack face. Do I want to play another one? What do you say? Do I want to play another one. Must see that I might get cats on Ferega. Let's play another one. If they had a sweeper, they would have found it with Profane Tutor. Also, they probably just net decked, so they don't have a sweeper. Well, it doesn't seem one that would add cards to the deck. Garrett's Verdict or a print. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. Grazie, grazie. Thank you, opponent. Thank you for the game. Babine, babine. Match number two, ladies and gentlemen. Our hand stinks. I'm keeping it. No, it doesn't stink. It's fine. It stinks a little bit. It's a little stinker. But that's okay. We're Rhinos player. We used to keep stinkers. Maybe I am used to keep stinker. It's a fine end. It's fine. It's fine. We have our, one of our four Brazen Borrower here. Steam Vents, do you rag on me? Nah, just play Preordain. This would be a nice Blue Red Merc that player. Okay, I'll accept the Chandler. Very good. Suspending Rhinos against the Merc that is extremely powerful. Bravo, Mengu, bravo! Oh, come on, yeah, that's... Okay, what do you think if I sus if I keep this? How do you living can do? It's fine. Yeah, I think it's a decent deck. I think that list is uh, the best one around. The one I just played. I think I graveyard this. But yeah, this is going to be the last uh, shard list. The Goosey Nator! 
Hello. Hello, Guzinator. This Misty Rain Forest can go get a Steam Vent, and then we play Shardless, they play Counterspell, and that's fine. I guess if they keep up mine, I don't have to play Shardless. The percent we draw the last one. Nah. Nah, it's not going to happen. Oh no. You have Spell Pierce? You wish Stoneforge Mystic that is a standard. <laughs> Maybe. Is the new JSA card Crushing Football can play? Maybe. Yesterday we recorded a podcast episode of Competitive Magic with the Carnies. Uh, we talked about a lot of the new cards. It's already on Spotify and uh, it will be on YouTube today. Okay, hear me out. What if I don't take a red source and preserve my life total here? Yeah, I'm a preserver. If I find um if I find the Flame of Anor, I'll pitch it to Force of Negation. Okay, that's my last crashing footfalls. It was 46. Imagine playing this in paper. I would have wasted five minutes of my life of flipping the top card. I wish I could just reveal my deck and then shuffle. Okay, they pay a red and a blue. I think I'm gonna counter this iteration. I'll pitch the tide binder. And then I'll attack for 10. I guess I'm gonna go fetch land and get delirium. Put me to five. Oh thank god I don't have a fetch land. If they had a fetch land, I could have I could have I could have lost this game. Well another red card I may want to be drawing is uh, um Fire Ice. Okay, so I attack for ten. And now I don't think I wanna do anything. Now I easily win the race. But again, if they had a fetch land, I would have lost the game there, I think. I still lose the game. Bolt, bolt. No. Let's go to one. Okay, uh, this one resolves. Unfortunately, I can't do much. El Grande wins. I didn't even need this crashing footfalls. The game ended before that. All right. I have Endurance and Dispute. Buongiorno, Matt. How's it going? What part of the world do you find yourself? Allora. Watch out. These cards are all cuttable. These cards are all cuttable. I can go like three, two, two, one, something like this. You cannot last until the end of the stream. <laughs> That's okay. Thank you. I hope so. Yeah. Have a good day, Atashi. A good night. You're back in the land.
You're back in the kingdom? You're back in the one and only kingdom. After 10 years of modern, come back to... After 10 years, he come back to modern. What do you suggest? Yeah, Esper Gorio is amazing. One of the best decks in the format. Very fun as well. So yeah, a great, great suggestion. It's in the same... You're playing a tournament in the same venue in the PT Dublin. I was a PT Dublin. Actually, I lost to Pete in that tournament. I went 1-5 in draft and 7-3 in constructed with Mardu vehicles for a combined record of 8-8. Eight and eight. Actually, I may be wrong. Let me double check. Because I write all my uh, I write all my results on my phone. Oh, look, let's see. PT Dublin. PT Dublin. It was uh, PT Dublin. Dovesta, Dovesta. Where is it? There it is. That was my 16th Pro Tour. Pro Tour, Ether Revolt, Dublin. Standard. Mardu Vehicle, 8 8. Yes. 184th placement. What was that? February 2016? Force could be important in this matchup. It could, yes, it could be important. A lot of cards could be important. As I said, I could have cut anything from that pile. You're amazed that I still have the same phone? Well, I can tell you that uh, they invented this thing called iCloud, where you save uh, datas, and then when you buy a new phone, you can pass it for free. It's a great invention. I'm a big fan of it. All right. Okay, I'm going to go forest here. My opponent may be a blood mooner. You'll never know. You're from Buenos Aires? Bello, bello. Buenos. What's the time in Buenos Aires? Is it like 5 a.m. for 6 a.m.? There's a non-physical disk in which I save my data. It is true indeed. Unbelievable. But it is, it is how the internet changed. 7 a.m. Okay, okay. Doable. Blue, red, Keska, Keska, Kefai, 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 Kefai. What do you do? Ragaban? Is that a Ragaban dash? It is. Okay. Maybe getting this forest uh, was a pain. Hope to draw land. Man, my deck plays so few lands. Why do you only play 20 lands in this deck? Crazy. Crazy. Draw land. Hmm. I'll cycle, I'll get a breeding pool, and I'll suspend another crushing footfalls. Maybe I should have just gone uh, Temple Garden, that's okay. So I started game one as well, by the way, or round one. Game one, I don't remember anymore. No, I could have gone Mr. and Forest for Temple Garden and then uh, Brilliant Pool. What are my go-to basic for Paper Magic? I think it depends on the format. If my deck is old, uh, I like Beta. If my deck is new, I like Annie H, Annie Inch, uh, the, this one. If my deck is like very, very new, I can also play with the Pokemon lands of uh, Theros Beyond Death. Okay. I'm gonna keep up two treasures, very suspicious. 
What am I drawing a land of the Fetchland type? Thank you. Thank you. La 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 If I play Merc, I do I play with Snow Covered Island because I enjoy the little island with the school on it. Lo school. Okay, how about I mystical dispute this? Yeah, I think it's a good play. When it lowers in the deck, you can only be allowed to play four, and if you play less, they they take away the license of Rhino. So this is actually the only number you can add. You can't play more, you can't play less. And you put us five cards in end, so many cards. The license to crash, exactly. If they deck check you and they see they only have three lore revealed, they they kick you out. And they keep their deck. And they keep your deck. You can risk it and register four, but only play three, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Anyway, Florida Strand was stolen by the monkey. Is there another land after it? Please, I need it. I need lands to play this game. Mamma mia, che pescata di merda. Look, I'm glad that you're having fun, but I'm not. So I'm gonna concede rather than being here miserable. Okay, so I sideboarded completely at random because I don't know. I feel like every every of this card is decent. You can cut the last Tishana. Tishana is good against explosives. Okay, third game against. Okay, I still don't have a third land. I just can't mulligan these hands. I have to keep, but obviously I need to top deck a third land. Otherwise, I can't cast a spell. I'm gonna go for the Surveil land end of turn. The blue one. Shibulu's Archive. Meticulous, sorry, archive. Do I find a land? I do, I do. That is a land, so I can't mulligan it. I can't uh, graveyard it. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I can just go Lorien and grab uh, Xander Lounge now, so that I have full domain. you don't go I hope you don't go blood moon turn two that would win the game on the spot okay opponent exile the lure be old can't cast it thankfully Explosives, and they don't have a second land. I love to see that. I love to see that.
All right, let me go Temple Garden untapped. Pass. I'm gonna bounce the Ragavan in uh, Begin Combat. And I have either Binding or Dispute Mana with the White Blue Land. Begin Combat. I'll go Petty Tap. They play a preordain. I think I'm happy to dispute this. I don't want them to look at three cards to find a land. Yeah, and they pass. I'll play Lush Portico, Surveil, Charles, it's good on top. Uh, I guess I can go binding here. That would play around um that would play around the spell peers, which my opponent can have. And if they dash Ragavan, I can just bounce it with another borrower. Or even subtlety it. I don't know. We'll see. Charlotte was actually a good a good play there. Hmm. A good, a good top there. And also borrowed the token. To then resolve shardless. Not great. Okay, I found a land with Briardane. Top bottom. Okay, to go seventeen. They play a Ragavan. Yeah, I think I'm gonna borrow where the treasure end of turn. It's risky, because that could have um because that could have the um, force of negation. If they don't do that, I feel very good. I gotta win the game. Oh, opponent, you didn't need to spell peers. Just sacrificing was enough. I would have lost the target anyway, it would have been countered. Magic key is indeed a very difficult game. Can't hold my opponent for not knowing that rule. Let's go shardless and crashing footfalls. Pass. If they go Merc Tide, they even have subtlety. Blue, blue. That does seem like a Merc Tide to me. Subtlety it with my last two cards. More bubbles. I'll talk with the Rhinos for sure, and I think also with the Shardless. Nah. Nah, I'd rather stay back to block. Love my proper content? Thank you. Ponza? I don't like Ponza. Not a fun. I'll play this Borrower since at least I can't counterspell it. 
Unfortunately, I don't have any more survey land because this list doesn't play the blue red. I would definitely add a third, a 21st land and it to be a blue red uh, survey land. Okay, opponent goes land iteration. Is the meta uh, in general? Yeah, you can find one of my videos where I five owed with Ponza, but the meta game is extremely fast right now, and just you know, it was never. I guess it's good against familiars, but you know, outside of familiars, it definitely isn't amazing. Okay, we got another win. I don't know if you watched my videos with slivers that I posted on the on the channel yesterday. One of the very few wins was against Ponza. <laughs> Your deck was just to slivers is not. Doesn't say too well about it. Okay, let's go. Match number three. As always a mulligan because the lack of lands, which this deck doesn't play any at all. Actually funny that maybe one of these two bar would, would have been a land. Okay, let's continue. And let's keep this one. No, I think that if you want to play magic, you just have more fun playing other decks. Like, you don't have to play a bad deck. Because, I don't know. Yeah, I definitely suggest trying something else. Okay, here though, I may actually not go for the Triumph. Because there again, I don't have a Blu-ray Triumph, which I'd love to find. I'm just gonna guess the uh, Xander Lounge. So that I have Domain in case I draw one of my four bindings. Play against Yogg. This matchup used to be very good in the past. Play Fire Eyes, hoping to draw a Cascade spell. There it is. Perfect. Let's see what spells they plan on playing. Wow, nothing. This top lingo. That that may be Orkish Bowmaster into Court of Calling. I think I smelled that. I was gonna hold up Force of Negation. By going top land go. Okay, yeah, I don't know, if they wanna do like pink shardless. Don't mind. I mean, I could bounce technically this token. But I don't really don't care. Just get Ephemerate? Yeah, that's the video we... So for Mango's Workshop, the new YouTube channel with paper gameplay, we've played Just Get Ephemerate versus Blue Black Fairies last Friday with Tommy. Tommy is editing right now and it will be out uh, at some point next week also the next week there will also be the the pre-release the pre-release video we did that uh, last time for murders of carol of manor where we got some pre-release pack we played it and we edited and by we edited i mean tommy's tommy edited very very quickly all right let me cast brazen borrower If he has cord for orc, it's finally with that. Is cord now a force? Then I'll attack you for 11. So 
Okay, we have radiant flames, and that's about it. I can take a force of negation, and that's about it. Yeah, we're gonna do the pre-release video again. To say, I think all the glitters is good, but I prefer to play a different style deck. Something like blue, red, blue, black, just Kai. When do I side in Commandeers? I think they're for four color Omnath and mono black mostly. Tron, you know, the decks with Karn and the Ring is usually where it's best at. I'm gonna suspend crashing footfalls. The question is, do I use forest? I think so. Be a mistake. I think I should have used Temple Garden. Yeah, I made a mistake. Because here, next turn, I could have gone use the temp. Yeah, yeah, I made a mistake. Let's see if. Um... if it's going to hurt me or not, but it may very well do. Okay, Flame of Honor. Alright, I'm going to cycle. This time I'm not going to get Xander Lounge because of my missequencing, so I have to get Steam Vents. And then I have to play Meticulous Archive. Uh, I'd like a fourth land here. Yeah, this is perfect. I didn't have any cascade cards and... This card doesn't put me any pressure. And eventually when that Crashing Fluid Falls comes off Suspend, I can play a Binding on the Soulless Jailer. Or even Flame of, uh, Flame of Anwar now. Kill Ball Brutes, kill Soulless Jailer. Is not is an available play. Go on top and pass. My goal is to, is to play Tishanas first and then Flume of Honor with two modes. And even Tishana, use Tishana to block the Young Wolf. But I'm not gonna do it. They may go Grist plus and then I go Tishana counter the Grist entirely. If they do nothing, I have to play Tishana regardless. But Flame of Honor have two modes, which is important. When it has a number going on with Young Wolf plus Yagumot. Okay. Allora, um, hmm. allora, how do I sequence this? Because I can go Flame of Anor, kill, kill. Or I can go Shock and Tap, Leyline Binding on Yagumot. Now I think I'm gonna go Flame of Honor. Kill, kill. Oh, I should have blocked the Young Wolf because it wouldn't have returned. Oh, I punted. I didn't think about it. If I blocked the Young Wolf, it would have been exiled. Or rather, it wouldn't have returned. My bad. 
And now they can even actually return the young wolf because they killed the jailer first. So yeah, definitely made a mistake. It's okay, I'm not dead. Ardens is a good place to go? Nah. Nah, don't wish anybody to play that deck. It's the slowest ever deck. And it's not even very good. Like, a Popper Geddon was by far the most played deck in day one, and it had a terrible conversion rate. It was like two in top 32. It's the classic combination deck that is like too slow to play and not even good. Don't wish people to play that deck. And if you play, you know how to play, you play fast, but I don't even know. Even in that, even if that's the case, I think you still don't want to play it. I'll shock on top because I want to cycle this lore and revealed. It's fine to play untap land and cycle for Xander. Yeah. I need to mill the land. Yeah, they have four cards in hand. Okay, I'm gonna get Xander here. I have like big regrets at how I play last turn. Let's get Xander. Now my land binding costs one mana only, so I can play all these three cards. I'll start by playing a Crushing Footfalls. I definitely want to play Land Binding on Grist. And then I suspend. I can't double spell, although the game definitely could go longer. But I feel like I want to hold up. Sorry, I meant to say I can't double spell, so I'm going to hold up double spell. So it was an enchantment. Well, I guess I should have played another binding. Oh, my bad, chat. I'm sorry. My bad, chat. Yes, my bad. Should play land binding on the insect. Ah, what a punt. How did I not see it? Ah, <sighs> okay. I guess now I'm binding for the um, Yagmot. Okay, what if I go bounce the young wolf now? The Yag resolves. You had this, you four one with this list earlier, you had the immediate Impression that this deck wants this blue red server land over a bar where wow. Yeah, that's the same impression we had But no, I mean, I feel like yeah, this list is good Okay, now I'll play binding When I can kill their things to shrink my rhino I don't think I'm gonna win this game Maybe if I didn't punt on that grist would have been better. I don't know. Tough to say necessarily. I know that Grace dies here. That's something. Yeah. 
I don't think I can suspend footfalls. I just have to pass with borrower up. Bene, muro di rutti. Upland, you have three cards in end. What is it? More wall of roots? Ooh, scavenging boots. Okay. Okay, I gotta play Borrower end of turn and then probably just keep on not suspending footfalls because I want to do bounce the scavenging ooze cast Borrower. But I'll do it after, or do I want to do it now? I think I'll do it after. Does land have any target left? Yeah, breeding pool. People, do you like what you see here? Do you think this is a, do you think this is a good deck? Or you just gave up on Rhinos at all after the Outburst ban? Oh. Never give up. Ooh, never give up. Put in place a couple of young wolves. And attacks. Allora. Uh, do I block? Yeah, I think I'll block. Then I'll go end of turn. Oh wow, they besage you the... That's last card was besage on binding, I'll concede. Let's go to game three, I'll be on the play. Oh, I still don't want endurance, but maybe it's better than force of negation. Maybe it's better than borrower. Just say we can have a couple of them or one borrower, one force. Maybe in two weeks you'll play Rhinos? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna mulligan this hand. I'm gonna keep this hand. What do we bottom? A binding, I think. Let's go. We both have six cards. You would have bought him the land? Crazy, man. Okay, do I like this Brisen Borrower? It's it's an interaction. I'm going to keep it on top. I don't know. Maybe it's bad. I never bought him land there. Never. Never in my life. Cauldron. Maybe Borrower is bad to draw. Anyway, let's go island, and then I'm gonna tap your land, and then I hope you don't interact with my shardless, and then I win.
Is Living End better than Hammer? Well, in my most recent power ranking, I didn't put Living End. I respected Hammer. After I played a league with Hammer, that you can watch on my YouTube channel, by the way, I maybe say that Living End is better than Hammer, yes. Okay, let's go Forest Shardless. Okay, now they have a turn where they can go crazy and do all the worst things in the world, like Wall of Roots. And land. And fetch. Ooh, a top land. Main phase fetching a top land. Why? So you want to just have six twice? I think I'll be on that. Um, okay, how about I go... Fetch, Xander Lounge, and Binding the Wall of Roots. And attack for 10. Then I have Borrower for you. You want to do Bounce the Wall. I see. Maybe Bouncing was also fine. Another one. They must have drawn this, otherwise it would have double spelled. I think we win now. Unless they have a one drop. Alright. Easy game against the Ogmot. You just want to cast Shardless Agent. Okay, so far so good. I'll take a bathroom break and I'll come back for round number four. Don't go anywhere. Okay, round number four. My hand is a forest, a plains, and a blue-red card. Perfect. You don't need anything else. Put a most to five. Let's go. Bloodstained Mire, is that a Ragaban? It isn't, thankfully. Let's do our favorite play, Forest Suspend Rhinos. We don't need neither a Cascade spell. You mean to keep her mulligan? Yeah, maybe, but uh, I, I don't do it. I keep... Sorry, lands for spells I keep. If it's wrong, I don't want to be right. I believe this was a quote of a song. I don't remember which song. Basta terre, mazzo, basta terre. Uh, land, go. We do play only 20. Orkish Bomanzo. Not very good in this matchup. But we do play four borrower. No, 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 I didn't swear. For for once, Vinny, I didn't swear. I just said stop lands. That's what I said. Okay, Charles Agent for me, please. For me, for your friend Andrea Mengucci. Va bene, I'll accept that. Um, I think I'll go Stevenson tapped. Stevenson tapped and pass. So I can play Force of Negation on the... Um, on that thing. Mm. On Fable. Okay, here I'm taking 4 down to 10, and at the end of turn I'm going to borrow the Orc Army token. About pigs? No, nothing about pigs. I kept the pigs. I kept the pigs uh, alone. 
Okay, my opponent did nothing here. Okay. So I'm gonna bounce this little guy. Okay. Crushing footfalls and I draw Flim of Honor. Okay. Well, I certainly can't use this to draw cards. Yesterday I've got I've I've got sent a clip where I swore a lot. I guess I should say that I didn't think about it at the time. But you know sometimes sometimes the words the words take over. I'm good to seven. Will I lose from two Orkish Bowmaster? Nah, I have two Rhinos coming out. That passes. I'll play this little borrower. I'll um fetch. I wanna get a survey land. Yeah. It's got survey land. It's green though, it's not great. But I guess it's okay. Something's happening. What is it? Another orc? A terminate. Okay, you have successfully terminated my borrower. Yeah, I'll get uh, Lash Portico. I don't want that. Lorenzo. Do, 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 do. Do, do. You and Eli, Eli always say Porco Cazzo. That's good. I I can tell you how it's spelled though. It's spelled like this. Just in case you want to be... Just in case you want to spell it right. That's how we spell it. Okay. Mm, Mr. Rainforest, go. Yeah, once you know that word, everything everything gets open to you. Okay, you play flip you play grief pitch shieldred. Babine. Babine. What do you do? What do you do, opponent? How many not dead after all do you have? You need a lot of them. You discard Leila and Binding. And the grief dies. Adios, grief. You'll be missed. And then Dorothy Void Walker. Okay. I'm gonna use Flame of Honor to kill it. Once again, I can't draw cards with it. If I do, I lose the game. And then I'm gonna uh, lounge. I don't have any more survey lens. I'm attacking with one lonely rhino token. I'd pass to you. It passes. What a bad game of magic. Honestly, whenever Scam gets involved with games of magic, they're 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 like this. Like, I think only Scam could have lost this game. Like, I haven't done anything, and I'm winning this game.
You can keep on attacking with a one. Like it's turn seven. I all I did was two rhinos on turn five and some very bad interaction spells. Do I attack with two bow? I think both I die to lightning bolt. I don't want to die to lightning bolt. Oh wow. You do it. You do have Lightning Bolt. God, so. Well, I got a Flame of Honor this. I got a four. But a four, I'm not dead. One card, if it's Dothy Void Walker, I still don't die, I think. So you got 11 here. You enjoyed the legacy video coverage. Yeah, that video did so 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 well. I did not expect. It's gonna be my most viewed video, I think. I don't know if you guys saw it. The um, The full legacy tournament with Mango. Coverage of my four seasons tournament legacy. Tommy edited this wonderfully with life total going down, cards popping up. Doing all the cuts. Very, very good. My opponents were great. It was a great show. Okay, wow. They drew land and they play Liliana of the Ville. Okay. I can lose this game. I hope I don't, but I can. Can I check it out? Yeah. Yeah, it it got it got a lot of views in two days. Fifteen thousand is. Okay. Cast. Oh, spetta, 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 spetta. If I do that, I lose the game. Ah, oh, che palle, mamma mia! Ma proprio questo pesca adesso. Okay. Oh. Yeah, Arden skill's fine, nothing special. Okay, so if I attack face, you do in time to kill my Rhino Toga with Liliana. Yeah, almost. Almost. I was very close to draw three. Yeah, I don't think I can attack face. I think I have to attack Liliana. But I have to attack Liliana. Man, it's crazy how little I did this game, and I may win. My opponent did even less than me, but I guess they managed to drop four spells more than me, which is a tiebreaker. Oh, Ragavandash you drew. Okay, so now I have to top deck, otherwise it's over. Uh, do I want to cycle this lore revealed? Let's go to flip first. Don't flip fire ice. Another land, man. But if a point didn't have a, a bowmaster, I would have drawn. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just untap because if I find binding, I love to just go binding draw. Or even fire ice. Like a spell. Spell, deck, give me a spell, otherwise I lose the game. Va bene. So I can go binding on orc. Play this. What mana do I keep? I don't think it matters. Bene. Top plan go. You're a nine. And I drew two more lands, by the way. Oh, caputana. The cats are the damage. Three. Four. Is that a grief? It is. All right, we're back to top deck mode. Oh, 
Madonna mia, shardless, ardently, come on, I've seen like half of my deck, I haven't seen a cascade card yet. I can still win if I draw that. Oh man, okay, let's do it again. Ta -ta -ta. Ta. Okay, what's the last one? It'll be this. Draw three. Shardless. I must find a shardless or an ardently. Allora, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Allora. But let's play land, because why not? I feel like I should attack. And what's the worst that can happen? I feel like I should attack. Okay, there's a way. No, no, I think I, I think I should attack, and then it just bounds the Ragavan and binding the grief. Thoughtsies. Thoughtsies, you say? The opponent draws Thoughtsies. Yeah, if I draw thoughts, is I lose. Evil, I'm ready to lose the thoughts is after you called it. Go. Don't talk to me, opponent. Okay, red, red, ragavan. Uh, actually, what if I go subtlety on this? Nah, it sucks. Okay, yep. Allora. Let's go binding on grief. And then let's go borrower on ragavan. Bounce Grief was better. Maybe you're right. Yeah, Bounce Grief was... I guess? Yeah, yeah. If they have a black card and they go Grief Pitch, I'm happy. Yeah, Bounce Grief was better, for sure. Yeah, it was a mistake. So the point I can now cast Ragavan, and now I die to Terminate, so I can't attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, made, I made a mistake. Anyway, draw. Oh no, I have two crushing footfalls. No, it's okay. I don't die. I still can attack. I don't die to terminate. Really, subtle the answer is go uh, Orcish Bowmaster too. Ardent plea. I think I have one more. Uh... Oh wow. Man, if I had bounced the grief, I would have won the game this turn. With ex wow, they conceded. I wasn't dead though. I wasn't dead. I wasn't dead. Die to a lightning bolt. Not to Orkish Bowmaster, I know. Va bene, va bene. We won. We won the game. That was uh, that was a game of Magic: The Gathering. Where we drew Cascade Spell at the very last turn. We won by suspending both uh, Crushing and Footfalls. Okay. So these five cards are decent. These four cards are bad. Uh, what's the last card I want to cut? Probably one of these Borrower. I'm going to cut this Borrower and you can go. You tried the list and felt so wrong? Really? It feels much better to me than the Domain list. That have not done well at all. Ever since the ban. I think I would change one borrower for blue red surveillance and the rest it's fine to me. You don't get it? Why did he didn't con why they conceded? And maybe they thought I was lethal. Maybe they thought my Rhinus could attack. I don't know. Yeah, four borrower. I mean this list came second in a challenge. I'm just I'm just net decking. I'm just net decking. 
You used to be a people fun with the Timur version. I have a bad news for you, Malek. They banned Violent Outburst. So, you gotta make changes to that version. <laughs> okay, they start with Land Agaban. Can I start suspending my crashing footfalls? My favorite deck in modder right now. Oh, uh, I don't have one. I just play whatever. The moment I don't have any feelings. I have some feelings for some standard deck as I test for the Pro Tour. But for modern, I don't have any particular feelings. Okay, I put in took my third crash in footfalls. Favorite in legacy. Same, same. Same. I don't have anything that I particularly love over the rest. Metagame is uh The best decks are too hard to play. Yagumot and Amulet. You thought I said Amulet. I did but then I played a tournament with Amulet. So I played a local tournament with Amulet and I won and I and I and I split the final. I was super hyped. But then I played it again. And I lost badly. Two two blue and Merc tied. Where I feel like playing against Blue and Merc tied takes a lot of skill. It's like Rhinos versus Merc tied before, you know. The bad players would lose, the good players would win. I felt like I lost twice. But it's not that I got unlucky. I mean, I did get unlucky, maybe you can say, but I also just didn't really know exactly what to do. Okay, my opponent is making this questionable play, and by questionable play, I mean a mistake. Because... There's no other fit to roll it resolves. Grief dies, and when it dies, I go Endurance. Yeah, Delirium Living End uh, went well. And I uh, and your grief doesn't return. So they should have discarded either Endurance or Crushing Footfalls. It, it went well, yeah. I mean, I didn't 5 or anything, but it was good gameplay. Okay, perfect. I can get Breeding Pool and now I can cast both next turn. When it has a Wallander. I'm not gonna take uh, Breeding Pool. If you exile with Ragavan, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. You found Flame of Honor. Good. Divination for you. Oh, but you don't play it. I see. Opponent doesn't know about Endurance. They only know about uh, the Flame of Honor. So next turn, hopefully, I can ambush them with it. Or I can also hopefully draw a Charless Agent. That's a possibility as well. Your rhinos? Yeah, your rhinos. And it discards a single Ragavan and goes to combat. I'll play Endurance. And attempt to block. If you let me. This factor push is exiled. It's not in their hand. Let's see if they let me block. They do? Perfect. Block. I go to 9. Still a plenty of life total to work with. Oh, what's this? Undead evil. Sure. 
Undead Evil. And returns face up. Sorry, untapped. I don't know why I said face up. Red, red. Stomp. Okay. Weird to see Stomp against my Rhino's deck. Lorian. Lorian. Just gonna pass here. I think I want to go Flame of Honor to kill the Ragavan. Maybe an upkeep. And then I can subtlety the Bone Crusher. Yeah. Uh, no, actually, I'm gonna let you draw. Another yeah, scam effect, it's okay. Deal 5 damage to Ragaban. Okay. Once again, this turn 1 suspend the crashing footfalls may win us the game. I can also draw a Charlotte's Agent or an Ardent Lee. The thoughts is me. Okay, I guess no subtlety. Go to the bone crusher. And now that reflection will be very hard to be to, to beat. I hope I can top deck a removal spell. Do I wanna deck thin by Laura revealed in upkeep? Nah, I'm not. Let's draw. Natural. Okay, so I got two tokens to play and then I need to draw something. I need to draw a removal spell or uh more rhinos. Fire ice, let them binding. Yeah. Man, that Thoughtsis was so on time. Ooh, what's this? Legion's end, you play. All right, I'll lose. Let's go to game three. What? Conan still has some hate left for Rhinos, huh? Despite Rhinos just not being a thing anymore. <laughs> Would you like to play first? Yes, I would like to. Keep. Let's go. You love pre-modern content? I'm gonna we're gonna record pre-modern tomorrow, so stay tuned. I'm gonna record black white, dead god ale versus black green the rock. Okay, so what is my sequencing here? Is it Temple Garden Steam Vents? Or is it Forest? Hollywood Fountain. No, Temple Garden Steam Vents. Let's go. A million damage. A million damage for me. Starting the game at 14 life. What's the worst that can happen? All therapy. Okay, Ragaban. Draw. I think it really depends if I draw land or not. You're tapped. I think I want to just tap Ragaban in uh, begin combat with Steam Vents. Draw into a uh, third land. Yeah, tap and not kill, exactly. Because I want to draw a third land. Okay, there it is. Like Once I resolve Shardless, Ragavan it's useless anyway. Dothy? Doth is very strong, though. So maybe actually now I can't play Shardless. I have to kill the Dothy first.
And obviously I regret not having killed the uh, Ragavan. Maybe it was a mistake. Let's hope they don't have uh, too much hate for Shardless. They just go one grief and not have, yeah. It's just that I wanted to draw a third land. I ended up drawing like two more lands, so. And they just play Fable, that's fine. You played against me in Chicago at the Energy? Nice, yeah, that was a great event. I enjoyed. I had fun in it. Okay, let's cascade. Let's grab those two crushing footfalls. Then I can go, um, I don't know, another one. What's the time? Yeah, yeah, it's late. If I win, I'll obviously stay for the final match. If I lose, I think I'll stop. I'm gonna discard cards. Let's see what it is. On that after all, Takenuma. I still just play Lorien. I'm not gonna play another Shardless because of Legion's End that I've seen in game two. I respond by fetching. I'll get a survey land. Land in the graveyard. Survey land, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. Opponent will be able to play two rhinos though, because of my question footfalls will go to the exile. I guess we'll stay in the exile zone, but without a time counter, but with a void counter. I think I should just play Laura Revealed. It's a great play, and they don't have Orkish Bowmaster plus Cyborg. Ooh, binding. Well, that changes things. Does it do? Does it change things? Nah, probably it doesn't. I'll just play Lorien anyway. It's too much efficient. If I just go, sh if I just go binding on Dorothy, I think it's too bad for mine efficiency. Binding will always be good, I think. That's fine. I don't care about that. Draw three. I already made a land drop for turn, so I'm just gonna pass. Okay, I still have one Rhinos in my deck. Not to draw it next turn. Thank you, not shorter. If I put it on 6, again, they have 2 Dothies, but I attack for 16, they can defend for, uh, let's say, 8, even less, because I have 2 Binding, so let's say 4. Yeah, I'm feeling very good about this. I mean, worst case scenario possible is if they go Legion's End. Maybe I should have played Binding because of Legion's End, which is a card I played around earlier. I can still win this. Dorothy's gonna... 
Oh, yeah, yeah. oh wow, the attack with Dorothy. Okay, interesting. Uh, I take eight down to three. Oh no. Let's see what you flip off Ragavan. Hopefully not a shard, not a crushing footfalls. You flip the subtlety. Okay, oh, not bad. You have two cards left. Is this a grief? Shield grid. Okay. Ah, Madonna mia, la gente che c'è. Allora. Well, I have to binding the shield grid and then I'll probably just die. Yeah, if I go Rhinos, I'll lose here. Yeah, well played, opponent. Well played. Oh, yeah, yeah, top loss. What's the time? Okay. I'll play a final match, but I have to go. But I still have to play a final match. I'll be right back. Final match up against the uh, Giganta. Land the Ragavan. I've, I've received a lot of Ragavans today. That was a good draw. Do I want to surveil a green white surveil land before Ragavan hit or after? Hmm, I think I'll do after. It's end of turn. Would it go fire ice? They can cast him. They stole fire ice from me. They don't cast it. Interesting. I got a green white land and put I think this in the graveyard and on tap. Ooh, strong. Unfortunately, you can't go outburst for some negation anymore. That was definitely a play against Stubborn and Isle. Okay, I think this time I'm gonna fire it. <laughs> I already lost the previous game because I didn't do it. So I'll do it this time. They can play Sign of Draco here or Kavu, I don't know, but they would have played it last turn, so they probably don't have those cards in end. I wonder what they have. Maybe just more Ragavans? Maybe they return to Gigantha this turn. I can see that. Oh no, you have another one. Yep. Oh, you do have Sign of Draco. Okay. And you keep up mana for Stubborn Denial. Hmm. Um. Bine pass. Here I can go binding, they go stubborn and I like go force. I think I like that. What do I pitch to force? We'll pitch it to Shana. She doesn't seem good in this matchup. Oh wow. They don't uh, play. Oh, you play binding. Okay, I will force. Let's hope you don't have another one. Okay, you don't. Good. Take two down to 13. So you flip, 
Hope it's not a card you can cast. Ah, Charlotte's Agent. Jeez. That's a good one to cast. Well, hopefully, you don't cascade into a two drop, but you cascade into a counter spell. Or a Ragavan. How about I go subtlety, pitch borrower? I Miss, mean, let's see you cascade first. Come on, pitch. Cascade into a Stubborn Denial or a Ragavan. Don't cascade into a Kavu or a Brawler. Okay, nice. What did you cascade? Stubborn Denial. Very good. Um, nah, it's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll leave you with that. On top, I'd love to draw a land so I can play around Stubborn Denial. Although I don't think you have it because you would have definitely... Yeah, no, they definitely don't have... That is not... I don't think life total matters too much this in this moment. I just play Charlotte's Agent. I just play safe and play around Stubborn Denial. Maybe my opponent, uh, you know, didn't cast it. Yeah, if we cast subtlety, we put it on top, but I also can just borrow where bounds the shardless, you know, and do it again. I draw land. Trouble flames. Okay. Better they are dead on me. Oh, wow. Double trouble flames. Okay, sure. Yeah, you attack me. I'll take two down to nine. You have no cards left. Let's see if I draw. Land, I draw ardently, which is uh, okay, even better. I don't know if it's even better, but yeah, definitely a good draw. This matchup used to be good for uh, Rhinos, for sure. Zoo was definitely struggling against uh, the Cascade decks. It had a lot of cyber cards, but still. I'll bounce the shardless, I'll play the shardless, and I'll concede the game. All right, so I board against five color zoo. Radiant flames. Well, all the disputes. So dispute counters uh, the stubborn denial. Maybe it's better than uh, Tishana's enforces. Yeah, let's do that. Ooh. Uh, it's not the best hand. I don't even have a cascade spell. I put in the monster six. I'm gonna keep it. It's a functional hand. I could mulligan, yes. I don't fault you for mulligan in, but I'm still keeping it. Okay, the multi six and starts with a ley line of the guild pact. It's finally early enough to watch me at 5 a.m. Welcome, welcome. Okay, they have a decent start. Ooh, subtlety is really good here too. I'm gonna suspend footfalls. I'm gonna do that with a temple garden. Trying to kill Scavo. You're right. I shouldn't have said it out. My bad. I definitely made a mistake. If you're watching this. Don't side out Tishan against the deck with Kabu. Okay. You attack with the Ragavan. You get a land. Okay. She plays Saiyan. I'm gonna subtlety pitch. Uh, what do I pitch? Force. Where do you put the Kabu? The, sorry, the Scion. You put it on top. Okay. 
binding. Okay. Put into play the Grixis Lounge so that I have domain for next turn. How do you beat creativity? Okay, Blank, what deck do you play? Well, today I played a uh, two cascade decks, so those definitely beat uh, creativity. Living and and rhinos. Oh wow, my opponent got Ardent Plea. <laughs> I'm sure they're not gonna cast it this time. You play double Cyan maybe? Cyan and Cabo, okay. The OLEV X proof. Oh. It's gonna be hard, but I'll try my best. Lua. Okay, that's that's fine, right? I can go borrower on the ley line and then binding on the cabu and then flame of honor on cyan. Okay. Uh what color do I take here? Island. So let's go borrower on the ley line and then binding on cabu. Your real nemesis is Titan. You can beat it with any deck. Titan doesn't lose to anything. Sometimes you can draw enough cyber cards that you manage to beat. But, you know, it's definitely the best deck in the format. Six. I go to six. They exile the card. Oh, Shardless. Uh-huh. You cast it. But it keeps on exiling my cards. Oh, hey, okay. they get back binding with binding. Sure. Hmm. I think now it may be too late. Yeah, I'm dead on board. GG. Let's play the last game. Very fast games, at least. I think I won't force a Vigors. Ah, I don't have any green cards, though. You may just cite in the whole package of green cards. Yeah, I think I want to do this. Let's go. 15 green, 15 green cards, not too many. The scent is weak, but I'm going to take it. I'm going to keep it. Full range of keeps. Five lands and one land. One Nakato. Let's go for a blue-white survey land. Hopefully I can find a spell. I can't. Okay, that's no problem. I'll draw it now. Still can't. Pick three down to sixteen, then fifteen. And I'll start jamming this ardently. I'll take that one over Triumph. Sorry, over a survey land. Should have taken a survey land. Or spike. The reason why I took this is that on turn four, I may go art and plane to plus Leyline Binding if I drew it. Wow. It's but Shardless. And then I want to play a Survey Land. Wow, returning Gigant on turn three on the draw. 
Maybe they kept even a worse one than me. I'm gonna just have a million removal spells now, like Lilian Binding, Trouble Flames. I can see that. Okay, Sign of Draco. They must have drawn that, because they could have played it last turn. And let's surveil. Okay, that's a spell. I'm not gonna pop I'm not gonna bottom it. Oh lord. I want to tap with my rhinos for sure, and then I'll play ardently. Okay, they play Lilian Binding. Okay, I'm gonna let her resolve and then ability on the stack. I'll force a vigor these two targets. That way you don't touch my token. Straight you go Giganta, she's actually large. But I can play. We'll see what I draw. But I can play Ardent Plea, and the Rhinos will be a 6 6 in attack. Of course, they can double block. We'll see. If I draw a removal spell, I win on this. Win on, yeah, I win on this. But I'll do else. Okay, could have been worse. I'll play Ardent Plea. Uh, this one can get Island. So I just need to keep up double blue. Sorry, double green. Shiganta review, she's actually large. <laughs> True. Gigantona. I think we got this. And lunch is almost ready. So let me see. <laughs> let me get ready to who raid after this game. Oh, Togaz is playing mono black. That deck is actually one of the few ones that sparks joy on me now. One of the few decks that sparks joy. Mono Nero. All right, I conceded. All right, that's it. Okay, so we got 4-1. We lost to Scam, which is actually shouldn't be a bad matchup. Uh, yeah, I think I, I got good vibes off this list. Um, you have to do this change, though. Important that you do so. But uh, I don't know about the sideboard. It was fine. Anyway, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I hope you had a good stream of Cascade decks. We'll be back tomorrow for some more modern. Bye-bye.